Hiya, in this video drum lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play the drums to the song Breeds by Nirvana, drums by Bonham's secret love child, Dave Grohl. So um, really we've got this. Um, da -da 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 Line two, one, two bar, third bar, four. That's how it sort of builds up in volume. A sort of technique, but if you find that too difficult, then you can just sort of play a single stroke roll throughout and do your best to increase the volume, but you'll find that if you try and play too hard, um, too early, that you run out of energy before the end. So build up only the last bar and a half of the intro like Dave does in the recording and you've got plenty of energy then to give it full whack into the verse. Then we go into the drum fill, bar four, and it's 16th notes all the way through. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Exactly the same sticking as the intro. Every four notes you play a bass drum. The first eight notes are played on the high tom, so two beats on the high tom, and then the last two beats, the last eight notes are played on the floor tom. So we get this, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three, four. Right, left, 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 right, left. And then finally we have a crash cymbal on beat one. So it's the same sticking, we're still playing right, left, right, left, except the first right happens to be the crash. So we get this. So the bar is this, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, up to speed. Okay, so it would sound like with a bit before it. And we're into the chorus. This is the chart, by the way. I highly recommend that you have this printed out while you're watching this video. It's gonna help you to understand what I'm talking about. Up to speed. I mean, that's what makes Dave Grohl's part so, so cool, is that you can tell that he's worked out every single note. I mean, every single note. Some drummers blag their fills, some drummers um, while they're playing along to a song, their own songs, their own music usually, I'm certainly guilty of this, I'll just throw in any old drum fill. Obviously it goes with the music, but it can change every time. Um, but when you um, listen to this album, you just get the impression, and it's kind of backed up by the fact that Dave plays it the same every time when he played with Nirvana, he played it the same every time. You can just tell that he, his, his every single snare drum flam, every single tom hit, every single crash hit is meant to be. He meant to play that in that place. It's, you know, it's a wonderful um, um, a, a method of drum construction that uh, he means every single note he plays. And I think there's a, a, a saying in jazz that um, mean, mean what you play. Um, cause it's, it's far too easy for musicians, not just drummers, to throw out licks and little blurts of ideas that they've got, they've practiced on their own, just because they can do it and not because it goes with the music. And I'm just as guilty of doing that. But here's a great example of a song, and there are many of them that Dave plays on, where every single note is meant to be there. Um, you can just tell, and, and it, uh, chorus two is exactly the same as chorus one, kind of proving my point there. The drum feels exactly the same at the end. And I use the same crash symbol there, um, just, just for simplicity, but you can use any crash symbols or a, a, a large ride symbol or open hi-hat, whatever you want to use to give it, give it some, some, some oomph. I've just eaten, so got the hiccups again. One and two and three. I bet you really want to know that. <laughs> 